this is a demonstration how uh, to uh, roll up a face, a planar face, uh, to roll up a face, in this example, this uh, segment, a uh, sector of, of an arc. Uh, we can roll it up along this uh, arc and then we will get something like a, a cone or a part of a cone. And uh, to get a cone, we need a constant curvature along this curve. And uh, my method uses three parameters. It uses first the face, second the track along uh, the roll-up is done, and a third a curve uh, which represents the curvature. And so I select these three ones, first this, then the track, and then uh, a constant curvature, this one and I start create the folding of a face. So uh, I have to display this one. So now we see this is already something like, uh, like a cone. And what we can do is we can uh, change the number of segments. What we have, we have 20. We can say we now use 30 or 320. So in this case, it becomes finer, and we also can simulate this uh, roll up uh, with this parameter. This is uh, zero, that means there is no animation, and when I change it from one up to the number uh, of segments, I see how the roll up is going. Okay, what I can do, I can now change the curvature. I use the sketch and edit the sketch. And when I make this curve lower, then I see the roll up as softer. In the other case, uh, it becomes stronger. Okay. Uh, I have here segments file and I do not need this. So uh, the second thing what we can do is we uh, also can change uh, to another uh, curvature model. In this case, we have not constant curvature, but we have here in one direction, then it changes in the other direction and again in one direction. And what does this mean uh, if we use it for our model? We change here this object by the other one. Okay, and now we see another uh, model. So, and we want to modify it. So, uh, what I can do is I can make this line nearly constant. In this case, I do not have uh, a big uh, roll up effect, but when I make it here stronger, then I see this here at the end of the face, and I can do the same on the other one. Then I have it here, and I can make this interval smaller. So, and I also can bend this into the other direction. So, almost everything is possible. So this is another uh, case. In this case, I have a basic face, uh, this uh, B-spline curve, a closed B-spline curve, I call it a sole. And uh, the track where we want to roll up is this curve here. It's not a line, it's not a circle, it's a uh, common B-spline curve. Um, and we use again, as in the last example, a constant curvature uh, pattern here. And now uh, I see the segments here on my sole and I see how it is rolled up. And what I now can do, uh, I can change the track here inside the curve, in, inside the face. So and when I now move it, I you see here uh, the segments change. 
I can change it to a nearly linear pattern and what we see is always the roll up of the phase changes too. I can go into extreme. In this case, uh, this is physical, not interesting, but we see also here uh, the segments collapse. And when I go back, I get a good envelope of my soul. Here again. And I can make it all fine. That means I go here from 25 to 250 segments. So we have a very fine uh, system and we can do animation. And when we do this, we see here how the soul rolls up. You see this here. Um, okay, I go back once more to 50 so we can see more so that's it so the next will be how to roll up the shell of a banana